Welcome, this is Mr. Fisher Flip's third grade math. As this is a new chapter, we are looking at Math Expressions Unit 6. And this lesson is Unit 6 2. We're going to be looking at parallelograms, rectangles, squares, and rhombuses. Our focus today will be to explore the relationships among parallelograms, rectangles, squares, rhombuses, and trapezoids. So we'll be learning about shapes. On Monday you will be receiving this note home. Your student will be learning about geometry and measurement during this part of the year. This first part of Unit 6 is about the geometric figures called quadrilaterals. These get their name because they have four quad sides lateral. Here are some examples. So we have a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel. We have a rectangle, a square, and a rhombus. Those are the four main things that we'll be looking at specifically today. Let's get warmed up today. There were 687 people at a school play. Round the number of people to the nearest 10 and to the nearest 100. Well, if we take 687, we look at rounding the nearest 10. If we are rounding the nearest 10, we're going to look at that 8. We're going to look at the 1's column to see if we need to round up or down. Now, if we're just looking at the nearest 10, we're going to look at that 7. We're going to say it's beyond 5. So we're going to say that that is 690. 690 is the nearest 10. If we do the nearest 100, we now have to look at that tenths place. When we look at the tenths place, we look to see if that is that 10 is above 50 or greater. If it's above 50 or greater, then we're going to round up. If it's 40 or lower, then we round down. So are we going to round up or down? We're going to round up. About how many people pl went to the play? 700 people. A good warm-up activity for us. We needed to round if we look at the math expressions, we have all these shapes right here, and we wanted to understand where they go. We have a square. There's a square, right? Here's a rectangle. What's this? I don't see a definition for this one. And this can't be a square, can't be a rectangle. Can it be a parallelogram? There's a parallelogram. And then that leaves this one for our rhombus. This, by the way, is a trapezoid. All of those shapes are quadrilaterals. Let's look at parallelograms in specific terms. Parallel means two lines that stay the same distance apart all the time. So a parallelogram is a quadrilateral, a shape with four sides, in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. That line and that line are parallel. And this line and this line are parallel. The opposite sides are parallel, both pairs. And so that means it's a parallelogram. What do you think perpendicular means? Perpendicular means when two lines or line segments cross to form a right angle. When these two lines come together, they form a right angle. If I draw a rectangle, a couple of rectangles and squares, rectangles are special kinds of parallelograms, and each of them have these perpendicular lines that cross to make right angles. How many right angles does a rectangle have? Four. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles in which two pairs of opposite sides are the same length. If we look, this side is the same length as this side. And this side is the same length as this side. Let's play around a little bit. Let's pull up a rectangle. Is a rectangle a quadrilateral? Yes. It's a polygon with four sides, right? It's closed and it's straight lines. It's a polygon with four sides. Does this figure have four sides? Yes. So it is a quadrilateral, right? Is this figure a parallelogram? Yes. How do you know? Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So it is a parallelogram. Is this shape a square? No. Why not? Because not all sides are the same length. So a rectangle is quadrilateral, a parallelogram, and it's a rectangle. Let's check out another one. Let's try a shape, a trapezoid. How can you describe a trapezoid? A trapezoid is a quadrilateral. It has four sides. It's, it's a polygon with four sides, and it has exactly one pair of parallel sides that are parallel, but it's not a parallelogram. Why not? Because these two sides also have to be parallel. What else can you say about a trapezoid? A trapezoid can have sides of different lengths or one pair of sides the same length. What can you say about the angles. Can it be a rectangle? No, a rectangles have right angles. A trapezoid can have one or two right angles or angles smaller or smaller than a right angle. So I have to be careful with that. A trapezoid can have 
some right angles. Let's apply what you know. Well, one of your questions on your assignment tonight will be asking you to describe all the ways that shapes are shapes. Is it a quadrilateral? It has four sides. Is it a parallelogram? No. Is it a rectangle? <laughs> Definitely not. Is this square? No. Our answer is a quadrilateral. So you have to use as many words as possible to describe that figure. And you'll see different figures and you'll have to describe them. And yes, you have to write down all of them that fit that shape. Let's circle the quadrilaterals that are trapezoids. Now remember trapezoids? Well, I see that this one is. Does this one have parallel sides? But it has four parallel sides. I mean, one here and this one and this one are parallel. So it's not one exact side like this one. Does this have parallel sides? Yes, but it has a right angle. Can trapezoids have right angles? I'm going to say yes. And our answer is X and Z. So Y, you might be careful with that. Y is not a trapezoid. It is a parallelogram and a quadrilateral. Let's check to see if you've understood this. What do you think a parallelogram is? Well, we've already talked about what parallelograms are. Can you draw one for us? Okay, let's make these a true parallelogram. And is that a parallelogram? A parallelogram is a quadrilateral, one, two, three, four sides, in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. I think we got that one. Opposite versus perpendicular. First of all, we need to remind ourselves what perpendicular is. Perpendicular means two lines that intersect and they make right angles. Opposite. So if we looked at that trapezoid, the opposite sides were parallel. What's the difference between a square and a rhombus? A square is a rectangle in which all four sides are the same length. A rhombus is a parallelogram in which all four sides are the same length. Well, let's look at a trapezoid. Trapezoid G has one pair of parallel sides. Can this trapezoid trapezoid be a parallelogram? No, because these two sides have to also be. I want you to pay attention to the poster in the back of the room because there's a Venn diagram that shows all the attributes of the figure shown. Trapezoids, rhombuses, parallelograms, quadrilaterals. I want you to look at that Venn diagram and notice that some of those things overlap. Let's look at your homework tonight. And before I do, I have an activity for you. Hopefully you can uh, see that there's lots of things you can do with geometric figures. There are tanagrams. There are these little shape puzzles. Try it at home. Cut out an 8 by 8 inch sheet of paper. See if you can draw some puzzles on there. Then cut out the shapes and the puzzles and put the puzzle back together. Kind of fun to do if you uh, notice there's some parallelograms, some trapezoids, some rhombuses. Well our homework will be two pages long, about 17 questions. Notice it's everything that we've talked about today. Read each sentence and write whether it is true or false. All squares are rectangles. True or false. Look at the definition and see if you can figure that out. Also you're gonna have to describe these shapes and you have to come up with maybe several things that those shapes could be. For review, you have to round some numbers and do some mountain math. Also, you're going to have to be paying attention on Monday because you're going to have to tell us what these angles are. Which ones are right angles? Which ones are smaller than right angles? And explain how a square is a rectangle. Remember, do a WSQ after you're done. When and where did you watch the video? sum up what you saw, and write one question you might have from watching this video. Well, good luck with these shapes. Parallelograms, rectangles, squares, and rhombuses, they are fun to play with, and you can see them in everyday life. Thank you. Good night.